Well, we had some unfortunate weather hit the Moor Medic 1 compound. And uh, we'll just step outside and show you what it kind of looks like out here. It like, looks like a bomb went off. Uh, there was no tornado touchdown, but we had straight line north winds of excess of 80 miles per hour. And I think 72 to 114 miles per hour is a F1 tornado. So let me show you some of the damage that we have incurred here. Due north is yonder way. But straight from that road, straight to you guys, is where that wind came from. And it has just absolutely destroyed my neighbor's house down here. And the neighbor across from that neighbor, their roof came off. I, we've had a, a tree come down. All of their shingles are in the yard. We're in the process of just getting all this shingles picked up and thrown back over the fence. But just look at this. Me and Mrs. Moore Medic tried to get out here and get all this stuff, all these shingles and, and house parts off of my fence. And it's absolutely impossible. It's just too darn heavy. I couldn't lift it. So what we did, we just put another fence panel and made it to where it's just made to where I, the dogs can't get out, dadgummit. Ain't that right, Gunner? Look at all this damage. Like I said, 80 mile per hour straight line winds. Their whole shed thing that they had built just collapsed. Miss Moore Medic over there, she's trying to get at the yard picked up, and so am I. But bent my favorite birdhouse pole. Huh. Look how that subfloor right there, you can barely see it where my finger is, it comes all the way. And it's just the subfloor that was inside that. It lifted it up and set it down and it didn't even move whatever that interior floor and wall on what that stuff is. It says gypsy. Just lifted it up and set it right back down. That table and chair came down on my fence right here. down on it right here tore the doors off the shed separated the roof with the, the outer panel because when the wind blew of course the door just flew open and I'm pretty sure that hole right there is from that nail right there Yep. Miss Moore Medic said she had both of these latched. So this inner door <clears throat> should have been stationary. I don't know how that, how this door could have gotten open if this door was shut like properly. Now nah, it's just screwed. Tore up my peach trees. There's too many on there anyway. They need to, they're not ready yet, but man, peach, peaches galore. I love those darn things. Here's some more kitty play house stuff. 
come from the neighbor's yard over here. My windmill that I rebuilt took a pretty good hit. Debris came down and hit our garden beds, messing those up. Just trash everywhere. Now it looks pretty, it looks good out there in the yard right now, except for a bunch of shingles. And hopefully, or I know those aren't mine, but holy crap, y'all just keep us in your prayers and we'll get through this. Just fence damage all along the fence line. This is inside the, the garden area. My neighbor, they just had the, a roof put on same time I did and they've already got damage to theirs. That dude right there is wrapping up the heat. Mm. Almost too right. Look how red that is. Gotta watch out for worms too. Mm. Alrighty guys, we're gonna get back to work getting all this junk cleaned up. Stay tuned for the next video. I'll be working on a, a little old Murray style push more. Customer waited till the very last minute, got it out, won't start. You know the drill. Probably going to need a carburetor or fuel system overhaul. So by the time we get that video going, everything should be cleaned up around here. And we'll catch you guys on the next one.